Okay, hey everybody, how's it going? So <clears throat> today what we're going to be learning uh, is importing uh, essentially uh, meshes and textures into the your modded level. Um, so you can see here as an example, um, these tanks right here, these tank assets, these exist originally in the Metro Exodus game, but they don't currently exist in the SDK. Uh, so that's a bit of a bummer. So uh, say you're wanting to get this tank in uh, the mod, modded level from the Metro Exodus game. Essentially what you're going to do is we're going to close out the uh, modded level I'm in right now. And what you're going to need is a few tools um, that are specifically tailored to uh, the Metro Exodus SDK. So the tools that you need is... Um, you're going to need a level editor. Uh, you're going to need um, this uh, model editor, like in this level editor tool. Um, you're going to need essentially uh, a uh, tool that pulls all of the meshes and textures from the Metro Exodus game. And then you're also going to need a tool that uh, converts all of the textures that you pull out from the game. And so... <clears throat> All three of these tools, I'm going to link in the description so you guys can download them and use them. Uh, but I'm going to show you basically how to start from the very beginning all the way to the end to the finished asset in the mod. So uh, the first tool that you need is this Metro EX uh, version 03. And inside of that, all there's going to be is this DLL and this executable. So it's very specific where you put these two files at. So if you go where your uh, SDK is, um, your, <clears throat> not your SDK, but where your game is installed. So mine is uh, under Epic Games. So if I go into my Enhanced Edition, uh, and here is where you want to grab, uh, sorry, where you want to put those two files in. So here you can see I put the executable and the DLL in here. So if you open up this, essentially what this tool does is uh, it can pull all of the assets that you're missing uh, from the game itself. So what you want to search for is you want to go to um, where your game is installed. And the file that you want to open is this content uh, VFX file. So if you open this and you expand it, You'll see here that you get like basically every item from the game. Uh, primarily what we want is the meshes and the textures. So one of the uh, meshes and textures that I need right now is the uh, excavator. So earlier I just uh, imported uh, this excavator piece and now I need the, uh, the essentially like the base portion of it. Um, <clears throat> so what I would recommend is uh, before you start exporting anything out of here is uh, in an area you want to create a new folder to store basically everything we're going to be working with. So right here uh, I'm just going to name the folder exactly what the object is. So excavator OTVAL and so um, now what you want to do to export everything out uh, to get the object is <clears throat> you want these two uh, specific uh, files right here, like when you export them. So this model one, you want to save it as an object, not the FBX. So save it as an object. Um, I'm going to save it in my new directory here. And so... Here you can see when you export it as an object, you get all the TGA files that you're going to have to convert later for the textures. So we're not going to touch any of this. And we're going to export uh, this uh, 33 file in the same directory. So if you exported uh, these two right here, the model and the uh, 33X, this is what you should see, all these TGA files. You should see the object file and the 33 file. So another thing you want to do is, since this asset doesn't exist in the SDK, um, it'd be nice to have an, a display image for it. So I'm just going to snip at this and save it in the same directory. 
and I'm just going to call it the same thing. And save it as a JPEG. Okay, so right now, uh, that should be all the stuff we need to export out. You don't need to worry about any of these textures here because uh, that's what all these TJ files are going to convert to. So I'm still going to leave this open. So uh, the next thing you want to do is I'm going to go back to my modding tools here. And that uh, level editor I was talking about that you need to download. So you're going to open that. <clears throat> and right now we want to convert the object file, this uh, OBJ one, uh, to a model type. So the SDK can uh, essentially like import it and render it. So you're going to click on this model underscore editor dot executable and open that. And so uh, this is the one you want, this model editor. So you're going to hit file, you're going to import, and what you're going to import is that object file. So I'll make this details. So the one we want is this one, that excavator uh, object file right here, the 3D object one. So if you choose the right one, the object will be loaded in here. You don't have to do anything with it. So what you're going to do is choose Save As. And essentially, you want it to be the exact same name it is in the uh, object name that you pulled it out as. So I'm going to just label it as that. And you can see here it's converting it to the model for the 4A engine. So I'm going to save it. And there we go right there. So you don't need this model editor anymore. I'm going to close that out. So the next tool you need to use is to convert all these TGA files to the textures you need for your model. So it's not like a you know purple asset for none of the textures have been loaded. So I'm going to go back to my tools directory and we're going to open this Metro EX uh, 52. And this is what it'll look like. You'll see like converted textures, like that's a folder I made for stuff like that. But what you'll see in here is all these uh, the DLL and stuff like that. The one you'll click on is Metro EX one. And this is what it'll look like. So uh, you want it to say Metro EX uh, modification tool. So in here, you're going to click on tools and you want to choose this textures converter option. So here, uh, grab that file path and this is where we're going to start converting all of those uh, TJs into textures. So you want to go through every TGA file that exported out and you want to convert every single one of these and you can only do one at a time unfortunately. So you're going to hit open and you're going to convert it. And what you should see is once it successfully converts them you'll see it created this uh, 512, 1024, 2048 files. These are the three main files that you want for your textures that it produces when it converts it. So I'm going to do the rest of these. Okay, I'm going to sort and make sure I have all these. So, base. And in. Okay, it looks like it's everything. So, uh, I'm going to leave this open just in case we need it. I'm going to minimize that. So, now uh, you have your mesh and you have all of your textures, uh, but you're still not done yet as far as like the textures part. So what you're going to do now is go into the SDK directory. You're going to find your mod. So my modded level is called Exodus Mod. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in the content directory, and I'm going to go to meshes. So this is where you're going to put that model file you converted from the object one. So I'm going to go into static, 
And if I go back to where this wants it stored, so you want to put it in the subtree that it has originally. So meshes, static vehicles, excavator. So I'm going to go to vehicles. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. Yeah, vehicles and then excavator. Okay. Then I'm going to take that model file, put that in there. I'm going to take the 33x file, put that in there. And I'm going to take the JPEG and put it in there. And so what I'm going to do now is just go into my modded level. And I'm going to open this up in the editor. Cool. So now if we want to import the asset, uh, we'll just put a static prop down. We'll go to model. Search for excavator. And there's the new one I just put. So you can see here it has a display image with that JPEG. And so if you look here, all of these uh, shader, uh, under the shader, all these textures, these are all of the uh, textures at once in order to render the object like it is in the JPEG. Uh, so it looks like there's three of them. And so if I hit OK, You'll see it imports the asset, and if I go in game, you can see none of the textures have loaded. This is what you'll see, because we haven't moved any of the textures over. So I'm going to exit the simulation and leave this open. And so now, if I go back to where all of my textures are here, so I'm going to do is go back to my Exodus mod parent directory. I'm going to go on content. I'm going to go to textures. So this is where all your textures live right here. And uh, I'm not going to put this in a subdirectory like it was for the meshes. You just put it in the overall textures like parent directory. So you can see here earlier I was working on the excavator like top piece for it. Um, so what you're going to do now is you only want to bring over the uh, the uh, generated texture files, 512, the 1024, and the 2048. And you don't want to bring over any of the TGA ones. Uh, you only want these generated files. So that's all of those. I'm going to copy it and paste them in here. Now, with all of these copied in here, you're still not done. Uh, to get these to truly render in the game, Every uh, texture asset requires these LUA files right here. Um, and what you have to do is, unfortunately, they're not generated, so you have to make these like almost by hand. So what you do is, since this is like a metal like crane object, um, what you're going to do is take uh, an existing LUA file. Uh, so... Yeah, this one right here. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to paste it. And I'm going to want the exact name. So I'm going to create an LUA file for every single one of those three textures that it wants. So I'm just going to rename it. And I'm going to go in it right here and double check it in Notepad. So you don't really have to change any of this stuff. Uh, if you do copy something and it has a bump name in it that isn't relative to your uh, your textures or your mesh, uh, just take it out. Like there shouldn't be anything in here. So I'm gonna close that now. What I'm gonna do is create two more. So. Uh, looks like I need 
a B1. I'm going to copy it again and do this ground autumn one. And copy it again. Let's see, looks like base A, base M. Looks like I need this one too. I'll copy it again. And did the N and so I did base A, I did base A and M. I did B and then I did autumn. I think that's everything. I think that's all the LUA files I need. Because there's only three of them. So let me see. Uh, yeah, so I don't need that one. I'll delete it out. Okay, so if you go back into the uh, SDK, you'll see that it knows that there's, there's textures, so you want to refresh it. So what I found with this is don't rely upon the refresh. Sometimes when you're doing this, it still won't render them. So just save it, exit out, and go back in. And then it should render them. I've had problems where like you'll refresh over and over and it still won't render them. For some reason, it's like certain assets, it just has to entirely restart. Okay, so we'll go in game. And woo! We did it successfully. So you can see here all the textures loaded. And pretty much good to go so that's how you do it uh, unfortunately there's like hundreds of thousands of objects from the original game um, like a lot of the cool ones like this excavator and the tanks and stuff aren't in the SDK so unfortunately if you want these you have to do it this way like all by hand kind of sucks but it's like once you've done them once um, you can use them as many times as you want in the SDK because they live in it now, like in your mod folder. Uh, so, yep, hope that helps.